Okay, we're going to do a video today of the 747B BK tube tester in action. We're actually going to test a tube on it. I already got a video of a walkthrough on it, so today we're just going to show um, the operation of it. Um, we're going to test the tube number 5763, which is a tube I had laying around here. And looking at the chart, this tube is one we're going to have to set up the um, paddles for, where a lot of the tubes on it. They're automatic or semi-automatic where you don't have to set up the paddles. You just um, stick in the tube, set up the filament, and which socket number, and the sensitivity adjustment, and uh, hit your test and you'd be ready to roll. But on some tubes you actually have to physically set it up. So for the 5763 tube, it's um, fi filament or heater voltage at 6 sensitivity at 82 and socket number 29 so the heater is already at 6 sensitivity we will turn over here to 82 and socket 29 over here we'll stick the tube in okay now as far as our um, other settings F, then 0, then C, A, B, D for these. So, F, leave this one alone, second, then C, A, B, and D. Then over to part 2, C, E, and then the last three are C, A. So, C, E, and way over here we have C, A, and that last one means um, test button number one, and test button number two would be more if it had a... Uh, dual tube like a dual triode or something oh we're over here at 90 82 and hit our test button and do our reading and this one is showing a 115 for this tube this one is a little bit more generous than the uh, Syncor Continental already did a video on you also could do a life test on the tube and a short test. Has the pin straightener. And that's pretty much it for the demo of the 747B tube tester. One more thing when you're done making your test, I'm gonna turn it off here. To reset all these knobs, you can just take this lever here and pull it down, and it will take all your. Um, set points back to zero zero amount so you can start all over again for the next one okay the 747 b bk tube tester